Number 7. The Great White Shark Depending on its size, a great white shark's bite force will vary. An average-sized great white shark will reach a length of about 16 feet, and at this size has a bite force of around 670 psi. But many of these sharks can also reach around 20 feet long, and it is believed that at this length have a bite force of around 4,000 psi. But where do they get that number from? Steve Rowe led a team of Australian scientists to test this by using X-ray imaging of shark skulls on a computer. It was this investigation that led them to the conclusion that a 21-foot great white shark could have a bite force of that magnitude. Given the difficulty of capturing an accurate read of a great white shark's bite force with a real shark, this number has not yet been confirmed. For that reason, it earns the number 7 spot on our list. Nevertheless, the great white shark's bite force paired with its sharp teeth are a force to be reckoned with. Shannon Ainsley was just 15 years old when, by a stroke of incredibly bad luck, was attacked by not only one, but two great white sharks at the same time. One shark went for his head, but luckily missed, because just a second before, the other shark had already bitten his hand, dragging him and his board underwater. In his frantic attempt to reach the shore, he saw blood gushing from his hand and realized his fingers were hanging off of his hand. He was able to get to safety and made a full recovery. Number 6. Alligator Snapping Turtle Although not considered quite that big when compared to other animals, they are the biggest freshwater turtle in North America. They can weigh between 155 and 175 pounds and can reach a length of 2 feet. With a very sharp beak, it has a bite force of 1000 psi. You definitely don't want to get your fingers, or anything else, anywhere near its powerful jaws. In the countless bite tests people have done with alligator snapping turtles, they seem to plow through foods with tougher skin than a human's like it's nothing. In one case, an alligator snapping turtle completely bit through a whole pineapple. Imagine that tough exterior in less than one second. There is one known case of a 15-year-old boy's finger being bitten off by an alligator snapping turtle. When he picked it up and tried to take a picture of it, it snapped at his left index finger. The boy said the turtle ate the part of his finger that it snapped off. He then went to the hospital where he was treated for infections. Number 5. Bull Shark When we think of sharks, many of us automatically think that the great white shark comes in at the top. But that's not the case. When talking about bite force, the bull shark is the clear recorded winner coming in at about 1300 psi. They are anywhere between 7 to 11 feet long and can weigh around 300 to 500 pounds. They're also known to be very aggressive. They can be found roaming in warm, shallow water all over the world. This could be bad news if you cross their path while out for a swim in the ocean, as there have been cases of attacks on humans. In one case in Australia, Brock Matthew and his friend Peter Edmonds went bodyboarding one morning. Edmonds got a head start while Matthew was putting away some things, and just about 100 feet from the shoreline, Edmonds started struggling in the water. Matthew saw this and realized something was wrong. A bull shark had attacked Edmonds, who was left unconscious with a mangled leg. Matthew pulled him to shore and called for help, but it was too late. He had lost too much blood and had passed away. Number 4. Hippopotamus Hippos spend a lot of their time in water, making them a semi-aquatic animal. An adult hippo can weigh between 2,800 and 3,300 pounds. Despite being an herbivore, it has an incredible bite force of at least 1,800 psi. In fact, they have the strongest jaws compared to any other herbivore. This is handy when they find themselves fighting with crocodiles. Although they look like harmless plant eaters, they are aggressive and very dangerous. Hippos are responsible for killing around 500 people annually across Africa. This makes them the world's deadliest mammal, after humans, of course. In Kenya, a man named Babu was viciously attacked by a hippo while fishing with his friend. The hippo burst out of the water and bit its powerful jaws down on his back a total of three times. The hippo eventually left, but Babu had already died in the attack. 
According to his friend, Babu had been attacked by hippos four other times. Just goes to show how common attacks on humans can be. The story of Christian Yaldor is also an incredible one. While vacationing in Africa with her husband, they took a river tour of the Zambezi River. While drifting in their canoe, without warning, a hippo crashed through the surface of the water, causing Yaldor to fall into the water. As she tried to make it to land, the hippo grabbed hold of her leg underwater and thrashed her around like a rag doll. She waited for it to stop thrashing and instinctively tried to pry its mouth off her leg. Although physically impossible to do so, the hippo let go for whatever reason, and she was able to make it onto land with the rest of the tour group. She suffered serious wounds to her leg that required several surgeries over the course of weeks. Number 3. Saltwater Crocodile Saltwater crocodiles are the largest reptiles in the world. Males can reach 20 feet long, while females are smaller at around 10 feet long. They weigh between 2,200 to 2,900 pounds. Their incredible bite force stems from the large space in their skull that is solely meant for jaw muscles. With a bite force of at least 3,700 psi, there is no way you would ever be able to escape its clutches. A professor of anatomy and paleobiology at Florida State University, Dr. Gregory Erickson is responsible for these findings. Over the period of a 10-year study, he measured the jaw strength of all the different species of crocodiles by using a transducer specifically for measuring bite force. At least 1,700 saltwater crocodiles call Bitakanika National Park in Odisha, India home. On June 20, 2021, 45-year-old woman named Umarani Parida was fishing with her fellow villagers, when suddenly, a saltwater crocodile lunged at her from the water and clenched its jaws around her. Despite the efforts of the villagers to save her, the crocodile dragged her into deep water. Her half-eaten body was found the next day, making it the sixth fatal crocodile attack within a year in Bitakanika. Number 2. Humboldt Squid Also known as the Jumbo Squid, they are one of the largest of all 300 species of squid, reaching a length of 4 feet and 11 inches and weighing up to 100 pounds. They have a beak that has a bite force of 6,000 psi. They also have a reputation of being quite aggressive. Scuba diver Scott Castle captured his first-hand experience being attacked by Humboldt squids on video when he was diving off the coast of La Paz, Mexico. Castle recounts that the attack started when the squids began mauling him aggressively from both sides. He said, As I'm hit by these animals, I can feel them pinching into the back of my arms and the back of my neck with these incredible beaks. With a stronger bite force than an African lion, there is no doubt that he was in a lot of pain. One squid then grabbed his camera and yanked it back so forcefully that it dislocated his right shoulder like it was nothing in his words. While in excruciating pain, two more squids latched onto his legs and began dragging him even deeper at an incredibly fast speed, causing his eardrums to implode. As he tried kicking and hitting the squids in defense, one of them bit his wrist, breaking it. Castle said, the pressure broke my wrist in five places. Despite all this, he somehow managed to fight hard enough to miraculously reach the surface and get back to the boat. Number 1. Killer Whale Also known as orcas, they are the largest member of the dolphin family. Males can grow between 20 to 26 feet long and can weigh over 12,000 pounds, the equivalent of about six cars. Females range between 16 to 23 feet in length and weigh about 8,000 pounds. There is some speculation about the exact bite force of a killer whale because it has been impossible to measure accurately. But based on incidents with orcas in captivity, researchers believe that their bite force is around 19,000 psi. When considering an orca's diet, that number seems logical. Orcas feed on animals larger than them, like humpback whales, great white sharks, and, although not as common, saltwater crocodiles. This means that an orca would need an incredibly strong bite force to tear through the thick hide of those animals. Despite being an apex predator, there have never been any reports of fatal killer whale attacks on humans in the wild. 
However, in captivity, that's a whole other story. There have been several attacks on humans by killer whales in captivity, and luckily, the majority of them survived. But one killer whale in particular, named Tilikum, was responsible for three of the four attacks that did result in deaths. He was the largest killer whale ever in captivity at 22 and a half feet long and 12,000 pounds. Dawn Branshaw was an animal trainer at SeaWorld. Following a show she performed with Tilikum on February 4th, 2010, he dragged her into the water by her ponytail. He attacked her aggressively, scalping her and even biting off her entire arm, which he then swallowed. Unfortunately, Branshaw died in the attack. Would you rather swim in crocodile-infested waters for 30 minutes or hike through the Sahara Desert with only one bottle of water?